21 day challenge to self love. That's the conversation we're going to have here on Self Love Monday. How you guys doing? This is Ron Simplified Myers, author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Now, this is actually part two of three. I did the first seven days um, on the previous video, and today we're going to do numbers eight through 14. Yep, because we're going to have you actually do those. Uh, at least take each day, take the topic, run with it do the whole day kind of focused on that particular one. I mean, yes, you can go through the list and you can do it all in one day. Um, but the whole idea is that if we're looking to make the change, not just read it and go, huh, I did it once today. You know, um, I'm a changed person. It, it's no, you have to focus on each topic that we're going to cover. And, um, and because we're in the process of changing where we are today, even if it's, if you have self-love, we want to strengthen it um, because the way you feel about yourself, you will actually put out into the universe, into the world. And that's what you're going to actually give to the world. I always use the example that if you're a sad person, then that's who you present to the world. And how can you be at your best and really care for people and really look after people if you're sad or if you're depressed or you're angry? We're not going to get the best you. So this, again, as you know, Self Love Monday, that's what it's about. We have to get us taken care of first because that's who we're going to present to the world. So anyway, let's get to day, uh, to day number eight of the 21. And it's uh, don't hide who you really are. That's the topic. Don't hide who you really are. There's a thing I heard a long time ago. There's uh, three people or three people at all times where who others see us as is who we believe we are and then it's who we really are and the key is to try to get those three uh in alignment i was actually listening to uh mike tyson uh a, a video that he did uh the boxer and where he used to be in terms of his life uh he walked around in rage anger he just wanted to destroy people and then where he is today is uh, a different, his whole conversation is different. And he made the comment. He said, none of us are who we really are when we're sitting here together. And it was like four guys around the table. He said, because who we really are is not what we're actually out here presenting. He said, honestly, if you guys knew who I really was, when the cameras are gone, when there's no people around me, he said, I probably wouldn't be a person you'd want to hang out with. And it's like, and again, that's not saying good, bad, right, or wrong, because he's talked about the fact that he's he's uh, more caring. He's more, um, you know, that side of his, his emotional state where he's known as being this vicious and so it doesn't have to be a negative because I know some people when you heard that um, those that have known who Mike Tyson is and that he's known as being vicious and stuff, you go, ooh, is he really that scary when the lights are out? That could be what he's saying, but he could also be, because again, everything's all perspective, but he could also be saying because of the fact that he is so mild now and the fact that he gets more emotional now that people will be like, that ain't the tough guy that I knew. And folks, that's really what this is all about. Quit trying to create this image that's not you to make the world happy because you're only going to be happy and fulfilled when you actually be you. And that's the idea, again, behind this 21 days is for you to get very comfortable with who you are and then present that person to the world. And the whole ideal is everybody ain't gonna like you. No matter what you try to do, no matter, you could be Mother Teresa, I guarantee you, there's a whole bunch of people that dislike Mother Teresa. They got something, she's too good, or what makes her think that she's better than everybody, whatever the case may be. You're going to have people that are going to judge you, be against you, and it's usually a reflection of themselves. Because I've always said, a person who is very, um, strong in who they are, which is the ideal behind this again, 
they don't have time to tear down other people. Because you guys have heard me say there's two ways to build the tallest building. One is build it. You build the tallest building. The other one is to tear down the buildings around you so you are the tallest. Most people live in that second one. They tear down everyone around them so that they feel good about themselves. My objective in everything that I teach and share is to get people to build the tallest building, which is themselves, and then we can go out and we can help others build their building. So anyway, let's get to day nine. Day nine, we're going to talk on focus on your positive qualities, your positive qualities, because we're good at looking at what we do wrong. And, um, you know, like people will say, talk about the fact that we're not perfect. And again, I share differently. I believe we are perfect. And by that, I'm saying everything we need in order to make it here on the world, on the earth, we came here equipped with. So we are perfect. Nobody's going to give us anything because we're already equipped with everything that we need. What happens is you're in a world that is always changing. And I use the example, I said, remember a few years ago, it was illegal to sell marijuana. Now you can find it on every corner. So how do you personally stay perfect in a system that is always changing? We got uh, the vote going on right now, you know, um, November 3rd, the election. You're gonna bring all these new people into new offices and, and, and um, you think they all have the same agendas? And the answer is no. So we're going to come up with more new things that's going to take place and it's going to keep changing the society in which we live. And that's not bad. Some of it, <laughs> some of it, but a lot of it is change you actually need to make. But the bottom line is, how do you stay perfect in a system that's not perfect? Does that make sense? And the reason I like people to understand that it's not them is because as long as you believe it's you that's messed up, which a lot of, and I'm not going to get into the spiritual conversation, but a lot of people walk around and believe they're bad people and, and they'll never, uh, they're just sinners and they'll never uh, be good. And, you know, you know, it's, it's kind of, to me, it's a teardown. It's like you're always feeling like you're falling short and you're always feel like you're not enough. Folks, I'm not going to teach that. I, 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 because I believe you're either a victim or as people say, a victor. And I'm not going to teach you how to be a victim. I'm going to teach you to believe in yourselves and understand that um, all things are possible. And that happens when I have a high self-esteem for myself. Now, with that said, I'm not saying that you don't make decisions that maybe you wish you had made a different decision, because that's the difference in people's lives or decisions. Never ever, and you guys have heard me say it before, never ever put anybody on a pedestal. They just made different decisions to you. Lisa Nichols made the comment. She said, the reason you um, you look at me and you, you applaud me and you go, wow, is it gives you an excuse to not go and accomplish the things that you desire. And it's like, gut check time. Because what she's saying, and I believe that to be true, don't put people on pedestals. Give them their credit for the things that they've accomplished. Don't get me wrong. But they just made different decisions. And if you don't like where you are, just make some different decisions and you'll start to get some different results. All right, on day number 10, we're going to discuss know what you like. Now, how many of you have actually taken the time to figure that out? And most people haven't. And if you don't know what you like, and you don't know what you want, how do you know you don't already have it? Most people are running around feeling, feeling miserable and don't like where they're out, they are in their life, yet they haven't never taken the time to sit out and figure where they wanted to be. And you might be okay with where you're at. See, what happens is we get into the comparing, which you guys know I talk about all the time. Don't compare yourself, your life, your spouse, to everyone else or any of the other stuff that's out there. Because if you start comparing, then you feel like there's something wrong with your life. Because you're looking at someone else or what the media is telling you how you should be living. And if you're not there where they told you you should be and at a certain age where you should be, then all of a sudden you feel like your life is a failure and you start to tear yourself down. 
This is about figuring out what you like, what you want, and then go pursue those things without letting the world make that decision for you. So, of course, day 11 would be just the opposite. What are the things that you don't like? Now, this has to do with a lot of what people are doing in their relationships. People have the tendency to settle because they've never taken the time to figure out what they don't like. Um, I've talked about the list. We've heard that before where people say you create a list of the things you want in a partner and then... Um, then you go out and basically go shopping according to that list that you've created. Well, I personally believe the list is created and, it, and there's nothing wrong with the list, but I think the list is created so that you can look at yourself. Because chances are when you get through making that list of what, your, um, of what the person that you want looks like, you'll find out you don't qualify. And that's not a negative. It's just saying you're not doing the things that you should be doing or where you are in your life in order to attract that particular person. Like I use the example that you want a person that loves to ride their bike, although you haven't ridden your bike in the last three years. So you need to start riding your bike and putting yourself in the arena where people are so that you can attract people that are riding their bikes. Now, what I'm saying on the don't like part is for some people, because it is hard to figure out the likes, figure out what you don't like. Because for most of us, we can write a book of what we don't like. <laughs> we can only come up with five or six things we like about ourselves. And then we can come up with, like I said, a book on what we don't like. But what you do with the don't like is you turn that around. And now it becomes actually you can figure out what it is that you do like. But we do want to focus on what we don't like so that we don't settle even in relationships. And so do that exercise. And the idea behind each one of these is to spend the whole day working on that particular topic. In this, we're working on the things that we don't like as we're going through our day. When things are happening, we don't like that. What can we do? Because I've even said things like, uh, you know, when I talk about procrastination, procrastination can be your best friend. The, the key is to ask, why am I procrastinating? Because I don't like doing it. You know, people say, Washing your car. I don't want to wash my car. But I can go pay someone to wash my car. So if it's up to me to do it, I'm procrastinating because I'm like, I don't want to go out there and do it. But I will go pay. And so sometimes procrastination is because you're about to do something you don't want to do. But recognize why you don't want to do it. And if you don't want to do it because you're tired, then that means you need to rest and listen to your body. But if you're not doing it because you really just, it's something you really don't want to do, then the ideal is to figure out a way to get it done, especially if it's something that needs to be done. Because some things you just don't need to do. But if it's something that needs to be done, figure out a way that you could get someone who enjoys to do it, to do that, and we could do a trade-off. I'll do something for you that I like to do that you don't like to do. Does that make sense? So, but anyway, but on day, uh, what was that, day 11, we're going to focus on what it is that we don't like and start to make the adjustments. So the things that we don't like, we're going to figure out a way to either like them or get them out of our life. Day number 12, we're going to spend that day reflecting. Remember we talked earlier about you're going to spend the day um, on a scale of one to 10. And that was on day one. We talked about that on a scale of one to 10. Where do you see yourself as far as self-love? And I'm hoping around this time, because we're on day 12, that you're starting to see some differences if you've been doing every day the exercises that we're talking about. And the ideal here is to reflect. Even if you were at a, you feel like you were at a four or five, if you're at a five or a six, now, you see that's, that's, that's a movement in the right direction. Because think about it. Um, you got where you are, your thought process and the way you feel about yourself, for however many years your age. So if you're 30 years old, it took you 30 years to get your thoughts to where they are now. So don't expect to go from a four to five by day 12 all the way up to a 10. It's possible, but I'm saying, but don't put that unnecessary pressure on yourself. The whole ideal here is this is something we're always going to be uh, working on uh, for the rest of our lives is making sure because everyone has doubts. Everyone goes through, you know, where your, your confidence is challenged for a moment. 
The difference between those that get what they want and those that don't is that downtime when that does occur. Here, we're going to get our strength in ourselves and our self-love very strong to where our downtime is very, very short. Even if we do it for a couple of minutes where we're questioning ourselves, you know that I said it's a couple of minutes and we're back. Okay, <laughs> we just go, woo, that was rough. That was a rough couple of minutes or five minutes or a day or whatever. But the difference is it may have been something that would have took you months or a year to get over. Now you can knock it out in, in, in a few minutes or in a couple of hours or in a day at least. So now we're going to get to, so let's do that self-reflection. Let's go from a scale of one to 10, where are we at? And I know if you've been doing the exercises, you've moved. Okay. All right. On, on day 13, we're dealing with self-talk. But we feel, we should have already been doing this process because remember, part of the, that I talked about for you to be doing on day one and to do this entire process is to actually uh, ask the three questions every single night in the mirror to yourself. And there's three questions. And with those three questions, each question has seven endings. Now, it could be the same ending all seven times, which you really reprogram a particular thought process at that point. But you want to do seven endings, hopefully different ones. But if not, if you only come up, because I don't want this to be like, <sighs> you're sitting there and it becomes a hard uh, challenge for you to do it because you're sitting there going, man, I can't come up with seven. Hey, repeat the same one until it becomes a part of who you are. But anyway, those three questions again was you look in the mirror. The number one is you go, Ron. I am proud that you, and it has seven different endings. I'm proud that you. The second question is, I forgive you for. And then the third question is, I commit to you that, and then put seven different endings. But that's something we should be doing every single day for the whole 30 days. I mean, the whole 21 days, because we're doing this as a 21-day project. Remember I said Lisa Nichols actually came up with that idea, and I enjoyed it, and that's why I'm sharing it with you. Hers is like to do that for 30 days, but because we're doing this as a 21 day project, um, for at least those 21 days, every single day, look in the mirror and do that exercise before you go to bed. So that's a part of the self-talk. So hopefully we've already been doing that, but that is day 13, making sure we are doing the self-talk and we're watching the self-talk. What are you actually saying to yourself? Again, remember there's about 70,000, you know, it's been said there's about 70,000 uh, decisions we make in a day, or I should say, shouldn't say decisions, but 70,000 thoughts that goes into our mind and about 90% of them are the exact same things. Unfortunately, most of them are negative. So we have to watch that self-talk and let's reprogram that. And then we're going to get to day 14, which is keep challenging yourself. I think that one goes without saying is to keep really every day you should be challenging yourself. But this day, we're totally going to make sure it becomes a focus that we're challenging ourselves. All right. So make sure that you're doing this. This is what we wanted to do. This is day. This is part two of three for the 21 day challenge to self love. If you haven't had the opportunity, make sure you run over to the first video, get the first seven days and then come back to this one. Well, if you're here. No, go back to that one because because if you haven't done the first seven, we don't need you starting at day eight. <laughs> don't start at eight. This is just now that you have it in place. Uh, come back to this. Go back and get the first video. And and I mean, uh, listen to the first podcast or video and do the first seven days and then catch back up. So as you guys know, it ain't right. It ain't wrong. It is my opinion. Now, for those of you that we talk about Relationship Thursday, I look forward to seeing you on, on uh, Thursday. And then for those of you that we do Self-Love Monday, again, uh, next week we'll be doing part three, which will be day 15 to 21 in order to get towards self-love. The whole idea behind this thing, again, is getting you to a point where you love you some you. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, um, I just released three video series, brand new Um Matter of fact, just here, October, you know, 2020, I just released them the early part of this month. And uh, so the first series is the Relationship Success Handbook video series, which is me taking my book and I did it in a video series. And it's different than the book in terms of 
I'm just talking to you on the particular topics. I'm not reading the book. And so there's going to be more insight, um, more personal information added, because again, this is a year and a uh, year and a half later after the book. So the information is a little fresher than what's actually in the book. But I did stay on the same topics and a lot of the things that are in the book, most of the things that are in the book are actually in the video series. It's just some of them I did add, expanded on a little bit more. And then I created a video series called Finding Love for those who are maybe want to find out what is love first off and then how do I go about finding it. And I cover a lot of different topics, like 10 different topics. Um, the most, you know, the biggest questions and challenges that people have when they're looking for love or they're just looking to get into a relationship. And then the third series is called Committed Relationship is for those that have made that decision that now I want to commit to a relationship or for those who want to strengthen a relationship. And the way I put it together right now, I packaged it where you could get all three pretty much for the same price that you would get one series. And I'm doing that because it's, a, it's an early release bonus uh, special that I wanted to put out there because I want to get it in as many hands as possible. I'm not sure how long I'll leave it at that particular price, but that's what it is right now. So get over there, ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Again, that's ronsimplifiedmyers.online. Myers spelled M-Y-E-R-S. Go over there, take advantage of the special, and I look forward to talking with you guys soon. Enjoy the journey, whatever it is you decide to do, because as you know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.